Do you want me to? Magandang araw mga bata! Kamusta na kayo? Tayo ay magpatuloy sa ating pag-aaral. Kung bago pa lamang kayo sa channel na ito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell para maging updated kayo sa mga susunod ko pang video. Handa na ba kayo matuto? Ngayon ay simula natin ang ating pag-aaral sa Math 6, Quarter 1, Week 8 na naaayon sa Most Essential Learning Competency. Ito ay ang types of decimal numbers. Okay, kumuha ng papel at ballpen upang isulat sa inyong mga notebook o papel ang mga mahalagang bagay na dapat ninyong matutunan. Now, let us identify the difference between rational and irrational numbers. When we say rational numbers, these are numbers that can be made by dividing two integers. An integer is a number with no fractional part. The word comes from ratio. So, rational number or rational number comes from the word ratio. For example, one half is a rational number. So, one is divided by two or the ratio of one to two. So, that is rational number. 0.75 is another example of rational number because if you're going to change 0.75 into ratio we will have this 3 is to 4 or 3 divided by 4 and that is another example is 1 1 is a rational number because if you're going to write this in ratio you will have 1 is to 1 or 1 divided by 1. 2 is another rational number. Because if you're going to write this in fraction form or in ratio form, we can write this 2 over 1 or 2 is to 1 or 2 divided by 1. Then 2.12 is a rational number. And if you're going to write this into ratio, we can have 212 is to 100 or 212 divided by 100. So this is rational number. However, irrational numbers are real numbers that cannot be made by dividing two integers. Cannot be made by dividing in two integers. An integer has no fractional part. Irrational means no ratio. We cannot write this into ratio. So, it isn't a rational number. We aren't saying it's crazy. Its decimal also goes on forever without repeating. So, let's for have this example. This one. This is the famous number pi. It is an irrational number, and it cannot be made by dividing two integers. No? So, pi is an example of irrational number. Cannot become a ratio. Now, after we differentiate between the rational and irrational number, let's have this, what is terminating or non-repeating and non-terminating or repeating decimal quotient. Let's find out the difference between terminating, non-repeating, and non-terminating, repeating decimal quotient. Terminating, non-repeating decimal quotient these have a finite number of digits or numbers which comes to an end after the decimal point. So, nag end na, hindi na nag -re repeat When you divide the numerator by the denominator, you end up with the remainder of 
zero. So, yun nga, Tagalog ng terminating ay natatapos. So, ibig sabihin, may katapusan ng division. Pagka dinibed mo siya, meron na siyang remainder ng zero. Doon na natatapos. Hindi na natin nadadagdagan pa. So, let's have this example. So, we have 1 over 2 or 1 half. Or 1 is to 2. So, let us divide this using long method. 1 is the dividend. 2 is the divisor. So, 1 divided by 2 cannot be. So, you have 0. Then, after that, you put decimal point below and then above. Then, put 0. Then, divide. 10 divided by 2 equals, okay, 5. So, 5 times 2, we have 10. Then, subtract. 10 minus 10, you have 0. O, ano yung napansin ninyo? Okay, nagkaroon siya ng remainder 0. O, may kasunod pa ba? O, natatapos na? Okay, natapos na. So, yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Terminating non-repeating decimal quotient. So, yung 1 half pala, ay merong terminating ng repeating decimal quotient. So, let us have another example. 5 divided by 8. Tingnan natin kung ito ay terminating or non-repeating. So, 5 will be the, or 5 is the dividend and 8 is the divisor. 5 divided by 8 cannot be, so 0 yan. Then, Put decimal point dun sa 5 and then maglagay din dun sa taas ng sa may 0 and then mag-add ng 0. 50 divided by 8, you have 6. Pababa naman, 6 times 8, you have 48. 50 minus 48, you have 2. So, pwede tayo, magdadagdag ulit tayo ng 0, then bring down natin yung dinagdag na 0. So, 20 divide 8, you have 2. 2 times 8, you have 16. Then, subtract. 20 minus 16 equals 4. So, dagdag ulit tayo ng 0. So, ibaba natin yung 0 dinagdag. So, 40 divide 8, you have 5. 5 times 8, you have 40. 40 minus 40, you have 0. O, magdadagdag pa ba tayo ng 0 doon? E, 0 na ating remainder. So, pag 0 na remainder, dyan na natapos ang ating division. So, dahil nga nagkaroon siya ng 0 na remainder at natapos ang kanyang uh, sagot, so, ito ngayon ay terminating or non-repeating decimal quotient. Yung 5, 8 pala ay terminating. Magkakaroon siya ng terminating non-repeating decimal quotient. Ngayon naman, ang non-terminating or repeating decimal quotient. Non-terminating, hindi na terminate So, ibig sabihin ng hindi na terminate hindi na tatapos. So, ibig sabihin, repeating siya, paulit-ulit. O, example. O, ito muna, bigay mo natin yung meaning. Non-terminating, repeating decimal quotient have an infinite number of digits. Infinite. Ibig sabihin na infinite, walang katapusan. It is a decimal that continues endlessly with group of digits repeated. When you divide the numerator by the denominator with the remainder that begins to repeat after some point. So, yung remainder niya, paulit-ulit-ulit-ulit. And it can be con converted into fraction. So, and then a vinculum. A horizontal line placed over expression to show that everything below the line is one group. So, let us have this example. Example of non-terminating repeating decimal quotient. Yung 2 over 3, or 2 is to 3, or 2 divided by 3. Divide natin yung 2 sa 3. So, cannot be... So, you have 0 and then add decimal point before you add 0. Then, 20 divided by 3 equals, you have 6. Then, 6 times 3, you have 18. 20 minus 18, you have 2. 
Then, add ulit tayo ng 0 sa taas. So, ibaba natin. 20 divided 3, 6 ulit. 6 times 3, 18 ulit. 20 minus 18, 2 ulit. Add ulit tayo ng 0. Bring down ulit natin 0. 20 divided 3, 6 ulit. 6 times 3, 18. 20 minus 18, 2. So, ano yung napansin ninyo? Paulit-ulit. No? So, yung kanyang remainder, laging 2. Pag nagdagdag tayo ng 0, ang pag dinivide natin siya, palaging 6 ang magiging sagot. So, ang tawag dito ay repeating or non-terminating. So, nilalagyan natin siya ng binculum. Ayan, yung ginuhit sa itaas. Ang tawag dyan ay binculum. Yan, nilalagay po natin sa itaas kapag ka paulit-ulit na after the three digits. So, meaning to say, yung mga susunod pang mga number niya ay pare-paraho na. Mula 6 hanggang dun sa dulo. O, yan ngayon ang example ng non-terminating repeating decimal quotient. Yung two-third ay non-terminating or repeating. Okay? Ayan. So, another example. Let's try another example. 1 is to 6 or 1 divided by 6. So, yung 1 nasa loob, 6 ang nasa labas. 1 divided 6 equals 0. Then, add decimal point. Ilagay yung decimal point sa taas. Dagdaga ng 0. 10 divided by 6. Okay, 1. 1 times 6, of course, 6. 10 minus 6 equals 4. So, magdagdag tayo ng 0. Then, bring down 0. 40 divided by 6. You have 6. 30, uh, 6 times 6, you have 36. So, 40 minus 36 equals 4. Dagdag ulit tayo ng 0. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 6. 6. 6 times 6, 36. 40 minus 36, 4. Dagdag ulit tayo ng 0. 40 divided by 6, 6. 6 times 6, 36. 40 minus 36, 4. Sa palagay ninyo, pag nilagyan natin ng 0 yan, yung 4, ano magiging sagot? Okay, 6. So, ano yung napansin ninyo dito sa mga numbers sa ibaba? So, naging pare-pareho lang. Paulit-ulit lang, ano? Paulit-ulit. Ito, may 40 minus 36, 40 minus 36, 40 minus 36. Tapos, meron ba siyang sirong? Naging zero ba ang kanyang remainder? Hindi. So, dahil hindi siya zero, at ito ay paulit-ulit lang, so, ano tawag natin dito? So, ay repeating or non-terminating. Ano ang kulang dito? Tama, lalagyan natin ng binculum. Dito natin ilalagay yan sa tatlong 6. Bakit? So, ibig sabihin, yung mga susunod pang number dyan ay puro 6 na. Ayan, so ito. So, what have you learned today? Ano yung natutunan ninyo? Terminating, non-repeating decimal quotient at non-terminating or repeating decimal quotient. So, ito yung dalawang uri ng decimal quotient. Two types of decimals. Sana'y nakatulong ang video na ito. Thank you for watching. Hanggang sa muli, paalam po sa ating lahat.